Yeah, hello everybody, my name is Mr Saunders. I'm going to um, talk to you about GCSE Sociology. Uh, many of you are obviously thinking about the options that you want to take next year, um, and sociology may be an option that some of you may want to consider. Now, sociology is the science of society, and as that first slide suggests, it's looking at trying to uncover what is hidden in society. Now, I want you to think about for a few seconds who are you? What makes you the person you are? Now, does this mean, for example, are you quiet? Are you chatty? Are you confident? Are you funny? Are you aggressive? In other words, what are your characteristics? What is your personality? Now, for sociologists, they want to try to find out why you behave the way that you do. What makes you who you are? Now, there's a big debate um, in the social sciences, and this is the nature versus nurture debate. Now, the nature debate is that you're born the way that you are, that you're born chatty, you're born aggressive. The nurture side of the debate is that society and the environment makes you who you are. In other words, you're chatty because of the people around you have influenced you to behave in that way. Now, for those who are interested in nature, that's generally people like biologists. So in your biology lesson, you might learn about the nature and about you being passed down your characteristics for your genes. In sociology, we focus on the nurture. We look at all the institutions in society and how they affect you and how they shape who you are. Now, the debate is obviously shared between nature and nurture. It's probably a bit of both, but for sociologists, the main emphasis is on the nurture side. So what do we look at? Well, we look at institutions such as the family. What type of family you live in might influence the type of person that you become. And we look at the different types of families, such as the traditional nuclear family, as opposed to things like single parent families and extended families. So therefore, does the type of family you live in um, change and who you are and who you might become in the future. We also look at what happens within the family. For example, your gender identities and your gender roles. Families treat males and females or boys and girls differently. You may, when you're growing up, giving us things like a, um, a doll to play with or a, a, a a castle, princess's castle there, or you might be given a tractor toy or something to do with um, army or war, etc. Now, does that change you, who you are going to be in the future? If we give boys things that to play, like guns to play with from their boys, does that mean that they're going to become more aggressive in the future? And if we give things like doll's houses to girls, does that mean they become more likely to become mothers and interested in having a family as opposed to do other things in their life? So again, we look at this in the sociology lesson. We also look at um, education and the type of school that you go to, does that influence the way uh, the, who the person you are and the way that you behave? For example, if you went to a private school, will that change who you are and who you might become in the future as opposed to going to a state school like Farlingay? So we look at the influence of education and again what happens in school, do teachers treat students differently um, based on their background? Do they treat sometimes um, wealthier pupils differently than poorer students and does that affect how well they achieve at school. We also look at other topics such as crime, um, who is likely to turn to crime, um, why is the crime rate higher for some groups as opposed to others. We also look at the role of the police, do the police focus on certain types of individuals and that does that influence the types of crime that they committed and the amounts of people who end up in prison. We also look at the role of the mass media, does it focus on certain types of criminal behaviour and ignores others. We also look at the way in which we learn our culture, and we call this cultural transmission. And for example, the role of the media. How do we learn about our culture, our way of life, our norms and values through things such as the media? And is that changing because the media is changing through things such as social media, etc. Another topic that we also look at is looking at social differences. And one of the main social differences um, that sociologists look at would be the difference between those social classes, for example, the rich and the poor. And does this affect your life chance, for example? If you're born poor, does that affect how well you do at school? What type of job that you go on to uh, go into later on in your life? And if you're rich, does that mean you're likely to stay rich and your future generations also are going to be rich. 
Apart from social class, we also looked at other differences in society, and these can be broken down into things such as ethnicity, gender, disability, and age, and how each of these aspects of who we are can affect what our life is going to become um, and the effects of the quality of our life. So sociology is very interested in breaking society down into these areas. Now what type of person likes sociology? Well the type of person is someone who can think for themselves, somebody who likes different ideas about things. Some people, people who are like to question um, the way society is, um, people who are interested in other people. Now, you'll be in dealing in sociology a number of different viewpoints. There's not just one way of understanding the world, there are many different ways. And in a sociology lesson, you need to be able to look at the world in different ways and be able to argue different points of view. If you're interested in having just one answer to everything, well, maybe sociology is not for you, but if you like to look at different types of arguments and thinking, well, that argument is better than this one in under trying to understand the world, which is very, very complex, then maybe sociology is a subject that you'd be interested in. Now, how you would be assessed is very important because um, it is 100% exam. There's no coursework. And the exams that you'll be doing um, in the summer of 2023 will be a mixture of short and longer mark questions. So apart from being able to talk about these issues, you'll also need to be able to write about these issues. So therefore, your ability to write longer mark questions is very important. Now, what subjects does sociology go uh, well with? Well, it goes well with other humanities subjects, um, such as those listed on the slide. Now, you can look at both um, doing psychology and sociology. You don't necessarily have to look at choosing either one or the other. And that applies to also things such as geography, history, philosophy, religion, and ethics. It also goes well with other subjects which, again, are interested in humans, um, particularly things like business studies um, and also things such as health and social care. So, again, sociology is a subject for those of you who are interested in understanding about humans and the way that they act. If you want to know more about sociology, you can always come to see me when we come back into school um, in H3, Miss Clark in the H13 and Miss Messer in H6. I hope that provides you with some information about uh, what sociology is all about um, and I hope to see some of you next year doing sociology. Thank you very much.